guys and welcome back to another video. Very exciting one. I'm so nervous this morning. I'm going wedding dress shopping. What the actual hell? Like it's less than a year till we get married. Um, and I remember asking you guys a while ago, like at what point should I go wedding dress shopping? You were all like now. So now I'm like, okay, I'm going. But I'm super freaked out. I've got like nervous belly this morning. I don't know why. I literally don't know why. I think it's just because like, you picture this moment all your life, don't you? Like trying on a wedding dress for the first time. And now it's actually here. And I'm just worried that I'm not going to like anything as well. Um, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. I'm taking my mum and Molly with me. I'm meeting them in like an hour. And then we're going to walk into town where I've got my first appointment. So I've got two appointments today. I've got one at 11 o'clock and then one at three o'clock. Yeah, I'm also going to the gym tonight as well. So it's pretty much just a general spend the day with me. But I'm literally going wedding dress shopping. Like, can you believe it? This is probably one of the very few times as well I'm on my camera with um, makeup on my face. I tried to do... I tried to do this last night and I just don't like it. So I've tied it up. I mean, hold on. Let me see if I can do something with it. Basically, it curls some of it, but then some of it's like really flat. Why, is, why does everything like go wrong for me? Like, I just don't think I'm that, I just don't think I'm that like beauty girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just think I should stick to my roots and just stay in my lane. Um, look, look, this is fully straight, but this like the front's nice. Oh, I don't know. I might leave it down. But yeah, anyway, I just did a very light face of makeup this morning. I probably will just end up tying my hair up anyway, just because it's easier. And I get so hot with my hair down. But yeah, I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me. And who knows, at the end of the day, I could literally have said yes to my wedding dress, which I don't know if I will have done because a lot of people say, like, don't pick the first ones that you see. Like, don't go, don't go to two shops and just pick one from there. Like, try loads and loads of places. So I've got two booked today and then I might have to book more for next week or something. Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Like, I've got no idea what to expect. I know in my head what sort of style I want. Um, but a lot of people say, like, when you try on what you think you want, you actually don't like it. So I might not end up liking it. I'm just going to make my breakfast shake now and then drink that, finish getting ready and head over to Molly's where I'm gonna meet her and my mum and then we're gonna walk into town. And yeah, oh, get started. I swear drinking these shakes is my favorite part of the day. See, look, this is what I mean with my hair. Like when other people do it, it doesn't look like that, but mine just goes like all ringlety. I'm 100% tying it up. <laughs> Honestly, it hits different. It hits so different. It is the nicest shake. Mm, mm, mm. Before I head out for a very exciting day, I just wanted to hop in here very quickly to talk about my new phone cases that I just picked up. Can we first of all talk about how relevant this phone case is to me? How perfect would this have been for my trip last week? Honestly, it would have been so, so good. This part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Casefy. I actually picked up three cases with them so i've got this one it's just got a little plastic um case over at the minute which is why it looks a bit bobbly yeah i personalized this one with my name it just says zoe ellen ellen is my middle name if you didn't know and i also picked up this little nice summery cute one but this this is so cool i love it so much i've said this to you guys before but honestly the way i could scroll on case Supplies website looking for a phone case is ridiculous i could scroll for hours i probably still want to keep scrolling i feel like Case Supply is just such a go-to phone case. Like, I know when this case is on my phone, no damage is going to come to it. You can drop the cases from up to, like, something ridiculous, like 11, 11 feet, 11.5 feet. It's madness. As soon as I know this case is on my phone, I just know it's going to be safe. The Impact cases are actually made from recycled phone cases, and they're all plant-based material, which is great for sustainability. But I feel like there's literally designs on the website for everyone like and even if there's not you can personalize them like i said this is so cool you can have whatever you want written across here you can have it written that way you can have like 10 of them across here honestly it's so personal to what you want for your phone case i actually picked up this little charm for my phone as well because i've been seeing a lot of people with these on their phone cases how pretty this is i'm definitely going to put this on my phone case that is a really really trendy at the minute how cute is that i am constantly flicking between phone cases from case supply like i said there is just so many options if you guys can see but like the edge of the phone case is kind of raised away from the phone um, but yeah, so it really covers the whole phone, which is, again, super protective. I've actually got a really, really good discount for you guys. Um, I've got 15% off if you use my discount link, which I will leave on the screen. I will also leave all information in the description box for you. But yeah, my cases, I'm absolutely obsessed. Go and have a look on their website and you will literally see how many there are to choose from. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to finish my smoothie and then get going. And I will see you when I'm at my first appointment. 
Here we are, just picked up the gang. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I got it wrong. Um, I got my locations wrong. So we're going to the second place first. So we've got to drive there. And then the first place second. So yeah. And I've also managed to bring the second one forward. So they're literally straight after each other. And if you can um, follow that, you're a better person than I am. I know. I can't follow it. <laughs> and that was all down to the request of mother wanting well, to see actually, Bambi. No, no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I actually requested well, it was a request of Molly. Week. But it yeah, got because, ignored. My request got ignored. Well, no, just, because I thought like you didn't really need. No, I it. did. I have. I'm. I'm well, yeah, well, I've done it now. Yeah, thank you. And my wanted to see Bambi, and that was her in awake time at my appointment time. So I had to change my appointment. I'm sure for a baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. Yeah, first place. This is called Nutsford Wedding Gallery. It's from a little town called Nutsford. Um, here we are. Very exciting. Yeah, let's go. I'm so nervous. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This place is beautiful. <gasps> Excited. Yes, I have been here. What I'm going to do is get us all to pick one. So I'm going to pick one. I want my mum to pick one. I want Molly to pick one. And then I'm going to try the one. Sorry, guys, you're not going to be able to see it. But... Oh my god, yeah, I think it is. Take out how you should be feeling and concentrate on how you actually oh feel. Like it's a turn of events. Oh my goodness. That did not go the way I expected it to go at all. Um, I'm so glad I asked your guys advice on Instagram and you told me to like just try everything because I tried everything and what I thought I would have liked, I didn't. Um, so yeah, really, really interesting that was. We have just parked up. Yeah, complete opposite. Um, but yeah, we've just parked up in Altrincham and we're going to go and try the second place, um, which I don't know if I really want to do now because the one that we've just been at, I found one that I did really like. I was going to say love then, but I did really like it. I do love it. Um, so yeah, going to go try on some more. Sorry, my um, camera battery just died on me. But yeah, I'm um, going to go and try on some more and I will update you after. Overwhelmed doesn't even come close, guys. I think I've said yes. Not actually said yes to the dress, but I think I found one. Um, I don't think I filmed anything at, well, I don't think Molly filmed anything at that second place because, thank you. Um, because I think I'd like mentally switched off by the time we got to second place. Like I'd already found one that I really liked at the first place. Cheers, guys. Congratulations. Thanks. Our favourite coffee shop with Mum and Danny. Back on the vlog. Back on the vlog. <laughs> um, yeah, just having an ice latte and not talking about the dresses because Danny's here as much as I'd like to. And I keep wanting to look at pictures, but I can't. Oh, such a, a good day, but also a mentally tough day. For like one shop at a time, it's it's exhausting. enough. It's exhausting. It really is exhausting. But I'll update you guys probably um, after our coffee. I've just got an iced latte with oat milk and a slice of lemon cake. Danny's got an arm across on. It's fave. Mum, what you got? I've got a decaf iced americano. Decaf iced americano and Danny's got egg. Francis Dyer. Okay, I'm back where I was literally a few hours ago. Um, can we normalise being really super overwhelmed after your first wedding dress trial appointment? Like, I feel actually a bit flat. It sounds really bad saying it, but like, I just, I don't know, I feel really bizarre. Obviously, I told you guys this morning that I, I think I told you guys that I had a dress in mind. I had a literal style in mind of what I wanted, what I liked. Like, it's all I've ever saved on Instagram. It's all I've ever saved on Pinterest. I went into the shop and I thought, there is nothing I want more than this dress. I put it on, 
hated it. I cannot tell you how silly I just felt in it. I thought, get it off me immediately. At which point I really started to panic because I thought, well, I know I don't like anything else, even though I've not tried it on. I know I don't like anything else. So I'm not going to find a dress. Like that's all I ever thought I wanted. So that's me without a wedding dress. Anyway, in that first shop, I must have tried on about seven, eight. Um, and I did find one, which I absolutely loved. And like, if you told me before going shopping that that's the one that I was going to like, I'd have laughed in your face, which is just hilarious. Like, but now I've come out and like in my head, I'm like, yeah, that's the one I want. But also like, it's the only one I've tried on in that style. So now I'm thinking, oh, I need to go and try other ones on in that style. And I'm just a bit overwhelmed by it all. Like, and like, I really want to show Danny, like I want to show him and be like, what do you think of this? So yeah, I'm feeling it actually, actually just a little bit flat. Like, and then the second appointment I went into, I don't actually think we filmed anything in there um, because I just wasn't feeling it. Like all the dresses, I picked that shop based on the style of dress that I thought I wanted. Obviously I went in there thinking, well, I already know that I don't want this. So that was sort of a bit of a waste of time for me to be honest. Experience, I loved, like I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I, when I had that dress on that I thought I, you know, that I really loved, like, I was so happy and I felt really confident. But I think just coming out now, I'm just so surprised at how I feel. Like I'm just so surprised that, like I went in thinking I knew what I wanted and I and now I literally don't. Oh God, I, I didn't think I'd be that person. Like I was so sure. Everyone says to me, oh, you think you know what you want and then you try it on, you don't like it. I, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be that person because I know this is what I want. But then also I wanted to normalize. Sorry, this is getting quite deep actually. I also was talking to Molly afterwards. I was like, what should we do for my hen do then? And she was like, oh, well, I can plan something if you want. You know, you just tell me who you want there. I would like to normalize not knowing who you want at your hen do. Like I don't have a large group of friends that I'm like, oh yeah, they're definitely coming. They're definitely coming. They're definitely coming. Like I actually, I actually don't really think I, I don't know. Like, do I want anyone there? <laughs> it's so weird. Like I've got lots of friends but not, not like a close group of friends. But again, that's something that I'm really struggling with as well. Like, do I want a big hen do? Do I want a small one where I just have family? Do I want to go abroad? Or like, got it. That's a, that's another thing in itself. I feel like that's the hardest, that's the hardest part of, of the wedding is the hen do because like, I don't know what I want. Like if you guys have got any advice on what you did for your hen do's, then let me know. Like, do I have a big one with like all my friends that I'm not that close with, but are my friends? somewhere and then a smaller one i don't know i literally don't know what to do i don't know i don't think i want like a big hen do with loads and loads of people and equally all my friends don't really know each other so like i've got one friend from here one friend from here one friend from here um obviously being in the army that's quite that's like a, quite a big thing like you make friends with someone and then they move on six months later and you become really close to someone for six months or a year and then they move on and you're probably never going to see them again for like you know another year or two i've got friends that i was so so close with the army but i've not seen for like over a year two years but like every now and then we message like do i invite them it's just me being a bit honest and real with you guys um, and do's always such a big part of it but i don't does it need to be like can i just go on holiday with my family can i can molly and i just go to dubai or wherever somewhere i've not been do you know what i mean like can it just be that simple um or do i need to have a big hen do i don't know but yeah that's how i'm currently feeling um like I said, I've had a great day and like, it was really, really fun trying on dresses and there was points where like, I was literally in tears of laughter because it was just, it was just a funny experience. Like it was just really, really funny. And when I think about the dress that I tried on, like I do love it, but I think I need to try on a few more because I only tried on one in that style that I liked. So yeah, that's my um little update i really I, again like i don't know what footage i got from the dress shopping at all like if i didn't get anything then i'm sorry i just gave molly and my mum a camera i was like oh just film what you can like just try not to film me in the dress there was a lot of dresses i tried on i was like i hate it get it off me um because i think when you're not an overly dressy girl and like you've envisioned something in your head that you want for so long and then it actually comes around to you trying it on you're like oh my god this is so weird and like the first two dresses i tried on i was like i actually hate this whole experience like i think they look so weird on me and I feel really embarrassed. Like I felt embarrassed in a wedding dress. It's so weird. You guys could leave any comments below about the experiences you've had or any advice on like what I should do for hen do's or the wedding dress situation. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I didn't think I'd be the one to be sat here in this position, like not moaning. I guess it's not really moaning. It's just like, just, I was just really overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Guys, I've just watched some of that footage back. Molly got nothing. Like I literally gave her my camera. I said, oh, can you film bits? Of like your reaction and stuff and just film bits in, in between nothing 
the only thing she filmed was me in one dress. As I said, don't film me in dresses, but never mind. Um, I feel like you kind of got the gist. And yeah, on reflection, dress has not been found. I've decided the dress has not been found. Um, so back on the hunt, I think. Um, and maybe I'll bring you along with me next time properly. I'm gonna quickly prep some dinner. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna have some mints. It's for Danny and I, so I'll do some mints. Um, with, I don't have any onions left, which is really annoying. I've got pepper, I've got, yeah, I've got like half a pepper left. Do that. Some chickpeas, I'll get some chickpeas out the cupboard. Chickpeas, and I'm gonna do some chopped tomatoes. Hmm. Oh, we've got any kidney beans? Could you do like a little chilli, couldn't I? I don't think we have any kidney beans, actually. It's so annoying. It's such an annoying time, the gym at half seven. I don't want to eat now at like six o'clock, half six. So I'm going to prep it now and then I can just have it when I get back. Okay, Danny and I have both decided that we want to come to Pure Gym this evening. He just bought a day pass and I have a membership here now, which is great. So What's up, baby? What's up with your back? I'm coming back on the vlog again just to say that I've got a little niggle. I'm just nursing it, all right? Yeah. And I'm... Um, that's why we've come to Pure Gym because there's a lot of space for you to like nurse. stretch and stuff. And yeah. Phone and, call do, um, and do cat cows and that. Cat cows, cat cows for Danny. Yeah, and um, once we're done here, we'll just head home and then reheat up the chilli that I made. And stepping songs from Roblox Skip over the lines that say we won't cross But you can't take like they're nothing They don't want to see us coming Scale all of the walls they built to hold us We may be invisible But we'll be unmistakable Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Like, even that session. When do I not enjoy going to the gym? Like, dress things throw me off, guys. Honestly, it's really thrown a spanner in the works. And now I need to try and, like, be okay about it. And I don't know. Just very, very bizarre. Like, I can't stop. I can't literally stop thinking about it. It's so weird. Even when I was training then, obviously, I filmed bits. Like, it was a fine session, but I wasn't, like, I wasn't thriving in it. I wasn't enjoying it. Because I was, like, constantly always look at my phone and, like, look for other dresses probably like being really dramatic about all this but for me to not enjoy the gym I know that like it's playing on my mind a lot more than it should be yeah I just went and did some legs Danny's back was actually fine so we managed to do a little bit together we did some sled push stuff at the end um just to get us into the high rocks mode but yeah I'm gonna head inside now and just reheat up some dinner and try and relax I need to decide guys I need to watch a series I think I've mentioned before I'm not a films girl at all like I just don't watch films um but I love series but I need to find one to either watch for the first time which I don't think I'll do or rewatch and I'm toying between Grey's Anatomy and um not Orange is the New Black I've seen that recently uh Gossip Girl because apparently that's come back on Netflix which um I'm really quite happy about because I've not seen that in a very long time but also Grey's Anatomy like oh, do I rewatch that so soon because it's so long I can't remember really what happened at the start anyway but Gossip Girl I've not seen for a very long time so I need to decide between one of them so let me know your thoughts in the comments below about which one you think I should watch yeah I will see you when I'm cooking dinner talk about a lazy dinner it doesn't look like a lazy dinner it's just like everything you've got in the cupboards thrown in I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close here I really hope you guys enjoyed it and to be honest there probably will be a part two wedding dress shopping like I've not found the one I know in my head I've not found the one I really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check the description box below for all my information about case to buy and use my link to get you guys 15% off but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very very soon in my next one bye guys